Just gotta figure out the hair thing here. Hold on. I know. I. Uh, Brent didn't have the out. same problem. No, he definitely did not have the same problem. <laughs> All right, uh, Magli Tessere, uh 70.3 World Championships. You have done really well at this race a ton of times. Uh, I'm guessing you're looking forward to tomorrow, our Sunday's race. I definitely am. I mean, it's. Uh, I think I've missed one of these. So this is my race every single year for nine years now. I think I've done it every single year. So and there's always a nice surprise. So I'm I'm definitely looking forward to it, and I've been looking forward to it all year. Um, I've had a bunch of setbacks this year, and it's a different ramp up than usual. So I'm kind of curious to find out how that'll go. But I'm feeling great. Um, you've always been amazing at uh, keeping a smile on your <laughs> face, no matter what the setbacks, and and there's always been some. But um, how hard is it to put that stuff behind you and come in and race against the best in the world? I guess it's important to just focus on you. You know, it's easy to get caught up in, okay, the start list or what's going to happen uh, with other people in the race. I mean, it's a competition. But I think the best solution for that is to focus on what you have on your side, what you've done in terms of work, what you have, and to focus during the race on what you're doing and forget about the rest. Race your own race. And so that's the mindset that I'm applying and I think it's going to help a lot. It's easy to say a little harder to do though once the gun yeah. goes off and you're racing against the best in the world. What do you sort of focus on that you need to do to have your best day? I think it's a question of having a race plan and really knowing in advance, okay, this is what I'm going to focus on in the swim. This is how I'm going to do my transition. This is uh, what I'm going to do on the bike ride, what I'm going to think about, what I'm going to focus on, and just knowing what you're going to focus on at different points. And we get to practice this. It's true, it's really hard to do, but every race is an op opportunity to practice that mindset that's like the golden one, the one that'll get you to your best day. You can only do your best on the day, and then that'll get you where it'll get you. But if you get distracted, you can lose that best performance you have in you on the day. What is it like to be... You know, you've been part of this Canadian wave. Uh, you, you, in many ways, started it with some you know, top finishes at World 70.3s. Um, we got a ton of great Canadians out there. That must be exciting. I'm super proud. I mean, and, and partly because, uh, I mean, I've trained with Brent before, uh, and he was great. Uh, Heather Wartell and Trevor are training with me now. So is Taylor Reed. So it's friendship, too, and it's it's being proud of these people I've trained with and I've seen them work hard and being proud of, of the growth in Canada, how we've like welcomed the distance, the, the, the long distance athletes more and more and how the, it's growing. Now we have a race in Tremblant, 70.3 and all that culture is coming with it. And I think it's just great to see like that we're blooming in Canada and that we have a lot of supporters that come to us and come and race with us and the age groupers as well. It's, it's great. Do you uh, look forward to a day like Sunday or is it a little scary nerve-wracking how, how do you, you know, sort of get your mind into it I try to you know it helps me a lot to have the age groupers there was last year the parade of nations that I went to and made me relax a little bit that kind of thing for me is the key is like treating it a bit more like a celebration of what I've done seeing it a bit like that on the side I mean staying serious about it but at times seeing like you know this is a celebration after all and people are here they're gonna have a blast and it's a special party you know and and that that mindset helps me as well so I, I, I try to keep things going like that make it fun that helps me personally so you kind of really made this 70.3 distance not your own but you have really gone for it I guess you probably get asked a million times when's the Iron Man coming I'm asking myself the same thing. Um, there are times when I'm tempted and I think, you know, it would be really fun to start in Tremblant or something like that at home with the cheers and people to support, you know, my family there. I think about it sometimes, but I feel like I, I still am not, I've not done what I wanted at 70.3 and I still don't have that feeling that I want, I really need to do an Ironman. So I'm waiting for that feeling and I'm not going to let the pressure of, you know, the sponsors want you to race Kona, everything. I, I just want it to come from me. I don't think I'll do good if it doesn't. So, And I love 70.3. It's such a beautiful distance. You get to race everywhere, and I need to perfect it still. So I'm not there yet, but probably soon. <laughs> okay. Well, first things first, good luck on Sunday. Have Thank a you. great race. Thank you very much.